Hi, welcome to eSpares, I'm Matt. In this video, I'll show you how to replace the drum on a Hoover tumble dryer. Now, if you've noticed a grinding or squealing noise coming from your machine when it's running, then it's likely that the bearings have failed and they need to be replaced. Now, on this model, the bearings are fixed to the drum, so they cannot be replaced as an individual item, so you'll need to replace the drum. Let's get started. To fix this issue, you will need a number of tools. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver, a Torx screwdriver, T20 for this job, a 7mm socket and a 10mm socket. Now safety first, always unplug an appliance before carrying out any work. The next thing you need to do is to remove the top of the appliance by undoing the three screws at the back using a 7mm socket. You can then slide the top off the machine and safely put to one side. Next, remove the water container by simply pulling it out the front of the machine. Next, you'll need to remove the door. To do that, you'll need to undo the two screws that hold the hinge in place using your Torx T20 screwdriver. Then you will need to remove the door seal on the front of the appliance by simply pulling it away from the lip that holds it in place. Then you can release the control panel from the front of the machine by undoing the two screws that hold it in place using your Phillips screwdriver. With the two screws removed, you can then lift up the control panel and rest it on the top of the machine. No need to remove completely. Then we need to remove the lower panel here. Simply grab a hold of it and pull it off. Next, this front panel needs to come off and there's eight screws holding it in place. So two here, four around the door, and two more up top. These are all Phillips head screws. So we'll start at the bottom. With all the screws removed, you can then lift away the front panel and what you have to do is remove the electrical connections from the door lock to remove the panel completely. With the front panels removed, you can remove the electrical connection to the front NTC. We now need to remove the water container housing. Start by taking off the overflow pipe here using a pair of pliers to release the clip at the top. Pull down and then the hose should simply come off. Then remove the water inlet pipe. You should be able to just pull that one off like so. And then we can undo the two screws at the back using a Phillips head screwdriver. Then we need to remove the front ring assembly by again using your 7mm socket and undoing these four screws, one at each corner. To remove the front ring assembly, once the screws are removed, lift up and then pull out from the bottom. Now 
Then you can remove the water container housing, put it towards you, making sure you don't trap any of the pipes. Then you'll need to remove the fan cover at the front bottom of the machine by undoing the two Phillips head screws. Next, you'll need to remove the fan that you can see there inside the machine. To do that, you need to take the nut and the washer off that holds it in place using a 10 mil socket set. You'll also need to hold on to the fan so that you can unscrew it. Once the fan's removed, there is also a washer at the back of the shaft that needs to be taken out, like so. Next, remove the fan cover. Simply pull it towards you and then twist to remove. With the fan cover removed, you can see the belt and the pulley. What you need to do is take the belt off the pulley simply by pulling down and towards you continuously until it comes off. Be careful because it might come off suddenly. There we go. Then coming to the rear of the machine, we need to remove the heater cover. To do that, you need to unscrew the 12 Phillips head screws that hold it in place. Next up, we need to remove the two Phillips head screws that hold the heater assembly in place. And then lift the heater off. Then, once the heater's out of the way, we can undo both these screws which hold the drum in place. Again, Phillips head screws these. Now that the drum's unscrewed, you can lift it out carefully through the front of the machine. Before you purchase a new drum for your machine, you're going to need to make sure it's correct for your appliance. For that, you'll need your model number. Check out our video here on how to find your model number for your tumble dryer and what to do if it's rubbed off. You can also check out the link in the description below for all replacement drums that we do on the eSpares website. What you have to do is refit the drum. To do that, you need to line up this cutout on the back of the drum to this cutout on the back of the machine when you're putting the drum back in. Now coming to the back of the machine, when it comes to re-screwing the drum in, you can simply lift it a little towards you to align the drum hole with the hole in the back of the machine before fixing your screw. Now do be careful of any sharp edges on the metallic parts of the drum and the machine itself. To refit the heater, just hook these two hooks over this lip here at the back of the machine and it should slot into place. Then you can refit the two screws. Refit your heater cover. Now you can go to the front of the dryer and refit the belt. So position the belt around the drum. 
and hook it over the motor spindle at the bottom. Then spread the jockey wheels to make sure the belt is fitted properly. Now remember, the ribbed side of the belt must be touching the drum and therefore the motor spindle at the bottom. That's where the grip is. And move one wheel at a time and push the belt over the wheel. And repeat this for the other jockey wheel too. With the belt on the spindle and in between the two jockeys, just give the drum a spin just to make sure the belt's in the right position. Next, refit the fan cover. Obviously this hole here goes around the spindle and these two ridges slot in at the back and these two ridges at the front slot in here at the front of the machine. So twist it as you put it in and then you can fit it correctly. Next, we need to refit the fan. So grab the large washer and put that on the spindle first. And refit the fan itself. Make sure you push it hard to get it fully over the spindle. And then you can refit the outer washer and the nut using your 10 mil socket set. Make sure you hold the fan when you tighten it so the screw goes on nice and tight. You can then refit the fan cover. And replace the screws. Then you can pop in your water container housing. And screw it into place at the back. Refit your outlet pipe using a pair of pliers just to make sure this clip goes back onto the tube securely. Next, you need to refit your outer ring assembly. Now, there's two upward facing hooks on the left and right hand side. These go up and in to the chassis on the same sides as well. And then at the bottom, there's hooks that fall into place in the chassis down here. Now make sure that your outlet pipe is on the outside. And also on the right hand side, the wiring is on the outside as well. Reconnect the overflow pipe to the water container. Again, using a pair of pliers just to make sure that this clip is nice and secure. And then you can refit the four screws using your seven mil socket. Once it's screwed into place, reconnect the electrical connection. Reconnect the electrical connections to the door lock and then you can screw the main front panel into place. Replace the lower front cover top end first and then the bottom just slots in. Next you can refit the control panel. Just 
slide the bottom left hand corner of the control panel under the water container housing and then you can refit the two screws left and right. Next, refit the water container. Then you can refit the door seal and then the door. Place the hinge in to the machine with the door wide open. Then that'll set it and then you can fit the screws. Then you can slide on the top and refit the three screws at the back. So there we have it, how to replace the drum on a Hoover tumble dryer. Now that your machine is back up and running again, it's a great idea to learn how to use your machine effectively. A good way to do that is to use these brilliant New Zealand wool tumble dryer balls. These balls help to separate your clothing inside the dryer, cutting down on drying time and saving you energy. Check out our video here on how to use tumble dryer balls. Also, while you're here, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more maintenance advice, repair guides, and all things related to eSpares. Thanks for watching.